Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your bi-weekly reading for the weeks of 9, 4 through 9, 18, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid card by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. All right, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, Aries, and let's get this show on the road, okay? All right, Aries, 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 love reading. Let's go on with the Aries for a love reading for 9, 4 through 9, 18, 2017. Aries, love reading. 9, 4 through 9. 18 2017 okay Aries 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 all right oh they there are some secrets going on here there's stuff hidden from you and there's stuff hidden by you mm. okay so somebody is getting ready to let you go okay Somebody's thinking about letting you go, or you might be thinking about letting go of someone. Okay, so it's because of a whole lot of people talking. I feel like you got too many people in your business. Yeah, that's what's going on here. Wow. Okay, so it seems like you guys really love each other. There's some love there. But it seems like somebody might be letting go because people are people are talking. What are these people talking about? Oh no, that's too much. What are these people talking about for Aries, Aries, Aries? What are the people talking about for the Aries for nine, four through eighteen, two thousand seventeen? Mm. So it seems like somebody is talking because this person is supposedly under you maybe they get less pay than you or these people are a different race than you so it seems like people talking about the social differences is um it's hindering it's trying it's trying to stop y'all love is one of the reasons that they're getting ready to leave you if they already didn't mm. oh no all right so this is not good. It's also, it seems like you might be treating this person like you don't want them. Or this could be happening to you one way or another. But it's all because of these social differences. Or this different pay grade. Like this person is beneath you or beneath them. But it's all because people are putting that in the ears. These people you trust. Mm. Okay, so this could be some kind of work relationship. It could be work, could be family. It seems like these people right here might be trying to protect this person. At least that's what they're trying to say. They're trying to protect them. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to protect them from this person that's a different race or a different pay grade. But they might work together, so it could be like some kind of a work boss situation or it just could be somebody who is... All right, I was going to ask about the unseen. All right, it seems like this person just possibly wants to take from you. Okay, sorry. The glare, I didn't close the windows. Yeah, but it seems like this person possibly wants to take from you. Mm. All right, so a secret coming out about that. What is this secret about for the Aries? Secret, secret, Aries. Mm. So it seems like this person think you want to take their masculinity away from them. It seems like this person think you secretly after um, they manhood. So I don't know if you say stuff or do stuff to make this person feel less of a man or less masculine, but they they don't like it. They don't like it. That's their little excuse that they use to let go, I feel like. Okay. 
Now we're going to do the Cleo card straight out the book. Yeah, so it seems like people might be in both of y'all ear over and over and over telling you guys that you shouldn't be together. In other words, you know, in the straight fourth words. Okay, so what's going on with Aries, Aries, Aries? Wow. Crazy stuff going on here. Aries, 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 9, 4 through 18, 2017. What's going on with the Aries? 9, 4 through 18, 2017. Aries, Aries, Aries. Mm. All right, so it seems like somebody might be about to dump somebody through a text message or email or something like that. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's the somebody is not communicating their feelings anymore. That's the yearning card, feeling like somebody don't want you anymore. Uh -uh. All right, yeah, this is the I'm done fighting card to me. Like, I'm putting down my sticks. Uh, I don't want any more. Okay, so it seems like somebody is going to feel like... Hmm. Somebody's going to feel like that they're not being stabbed or coming out of feeling stabbed in the back by somebody. But it's all, it's going to be, wow. So it seems like this is definitely going to be a breakup. This is going to be a breakup. All right, let me read these cards. Two reverse sevens. All right, let's go. So we got the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups. It is reversed. So it says elaborate celebration, proclaimed happiness, gatherings, new possibilities when you look in the other direction. So it's basically to me saying like people are trying to act like they happy when they not happy and they need to go somewhere else to get that happiness you know even though you're in love with this person uh this relationship has let um socio differences break them apart okay like i don't know if there's any coming back from this but i don't feel like it as long as you got those two people that you care about that you possibly work with um trying to tear stuff down all right so now we got the seven of staffs. Staff, staffs. Seven of staffs. If, is that reverse? Yes, it is. Stress, confusion, indecision, surfacing, and discreet actions. So you're just wondering why all out of the blue this person is um starting to treat you different or vice versa, you know? And it's just like I don't I don't know what to do here, you know? All right, then we got the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. All right, Ten of Swords is reversed. A temporary success and advancement of position. So it seems like mm, everything going to look like it's normal, and then all of a sudden it's going to be over. Separation. All right, so we got the Two of Staffs. Two, 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 two. All right, two of staffs is upright. It says, time to reflect upon your choices before making a decision. Consider where you are and how your past relates. So, I mean, I guess this is saying you still got a choice to stick around and fight or fight or flight. You know, I mean, I don't know what you're going to do to get these little two people. It might even be four people. From um, a private two on each side, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're gonna do to get them to get out of y'all business, but I mean that's the only thing that I can see that can you know cure this craziness. Cause right now y'all got people in y'all ear telling y'all not good for each other. Mm. Yeah, I think y'all might somebody got an ex too. You might have an ex in your ear telling them you did that, that that this person ain't good enough for you either. But if there is love here, you love this person, so it the is is it worth the fight? I mean, this is your choice. All right, so we got the seven of coins, and it is reversed. So it says, 
um, continue to work on your project. Remember that money can bring you great joy and great sorrow. The importance of money is freedom. Do let not let the money imprison you. So we're just going to um, put this in a relationship-wise. You know, it's like basically stay in there as long as it ain't uh, hurting you. You know, don't let it become a burden to you. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a wonderful week, guys.